Hi. Today we like to discuss about the Walden inversion. Here, the technicality is generally Walden inversion means people have the perception that R configuration reactant will become as S configured product. R S may be becomes as R. It is not the rule that the configuration has to be changed. There is no way related to the configuration with respect to volume inversion. What is the technicality and how the polar carbon changes? And the when we can observe the change in configuration, let us try to discuss. We have. <clears throat> So to discuss about Walden inversion, I'll try, try to take a chiral carbon, so a prime and H and a D, and then let us try to make it as a X is a ring. The Walden inversion we observe in SN2 mechanisms nucleophilic substitution by molecular reactions. And in bimolecular reactions, we know that the nucleophile approaches from the backside and or we can see that attacks from the backside. That's why I took the polar carbon as unhindered, as a primary, but to make it as a chiral, I made it as H and D rather than making it as R, R double prime, because three degree means attack by the nucleophile from the backside is less likely. Now, let us see what is the first step. What is the first primary condition? If I assume that this is a leaving group, X is the leaving group, and the nucleophile is the, I mean, attacking one, The attacking nucleophile must be a strong conjugate base than the leaving group. Then only a successful nucleophilic displacement takes place in a single step. I repeat, if the attacking nucleophile is the strong conjugate base than the leaving group, then only a successful nucleophilic displacement is possible in a single step. Once it is the strong conjugate base and it approaches from the backside and develops the attraction towards the polar car. Once it develops the attractions with respect to the polar carbon, as of now, the hybridization of this carbon is only that SP3. Due to the strong polar attractions, the polar carbon dissolves its hybridization and it will become a planar sp2 hybridized it will become either sp2 hybridized then you can ask what about the leaving groups sir? yes they are connected to the pr all which is considered to be not participated in the hybridization and this side X is present and this side the nucleophile is developing the attractions. That means at this stage we can say the valency of this carbon is said to be 5. We can also use the word onium, carbonium state, pentavalent and the hybridization is SP2. There will be a moment where, which I already said that, the attacking nucleophile must be a strong conjugate base than the leaving group. At that particular moment, only the attractions are possible, where the attractions are dominated when compared to the leaving group. At that particular junction, the polar carbon turns towards the attacking nucleophile 
are incoming nucleophile leaving the leaving group from the backside. Here, I'm using the word backside. Listen here. Primarily, nucleophile approaches from the backside. We can use the word backside because with respect to the leaving group, here, I'm going to term it as the backside. But once it is dissolved, we can't say that which is the front side, which is the back side. Where the attractions are dominated by the new incoming nucleophile rather than the leaving group, at that particular point, the polar carbon turns towards the attacking nucleophile or incoming nucleophile, which is generally considered as again as a front side, and this is considered as with the back side. And at that particular moment, which I said that polar carbon turns towards the new incoming nucleophile, which is like inside out state. That inside out state makes the molecule as an inverted product. And this inversion, we call it as the Walden inversion. And here, it is like first association of nucleophile AM, and the second step is nothing but the disassociation of nucleophile. Therefore, according to the IUPAC, we can also say this mechanism, I can call it as association of nucleophile and disassociation of nucleophile parallelly takes place. And this inside out state which we term it as an Walden inversion can be identified with inversion in configuration. When we can identify with the configuration, if the leaving group is the first priority or the top priority on the existing chiralities, if according to the SIP, if this is the first priority here, and the incoming nucleophile is also the first priority. No doubt you may get the product. You can write the product R prime and D or D prime. Then no doubt inversion in configuration can be observed. But sometimes inversion in configuration may not be observed. It doesn't mean that it is not a volume inversion, it is also. Then what is that? Suppose when we have the leaving group as the top priority, and the incoming group may not be the top priority, then you can't observe inversion in its configuration. Here I'll consider CL as the leaving group and I'll write the Walden inversion product, but inversion in configuration is not observed. Let us see with the configuration here, I'll give the first priority to the halogen, second priority to the alkyl and third priority to this. Therefore, I'll go with anti-clockwise direction and write as with the R configuration. And simultaneously after the product, this is the first priority, second priority and third. No doubt it is a clockwise direction, horizontally least priority, for which I consider it as with the S configuration. In the case one, we observe inversion in configuration as well along with Walden inversion because leaving group is the top priority and attacking Nucleophile is the top priority before and after the reactions. But in case two, leaving group is the top priority, but attacking nucleophile is not the top priority here. Due to that, what happened here? I can take it. Let us see here. Put it there. I can say that this is the first priority. 
is the second priority, third priority as usual. We can say this is R and its configuration, but here this is one, this is two and three. So automatically this is again R. Therefore, the condition for inversion in configuration is both must be the top priorities, then we can observe inversion in configuration. If not, volume inversion will happen, but we may not observe the inversion in its configuration. And this mechanism SN2 can also be abbreviated as association of nucleophile and disassociation of nucleophile. And how it is a carbonium state? What is the hybridization of this, of this carbonium state? I hope we are really to Thank you.